Hi all, I wanted to make a day end video for the day 25th of June 2024. Before I begin, I would request you to read the disclaimer on screen and in the description below and know that this is an educational channel. With that said, let's proceed. We'll straight away head on to our charts like we generally do. So we are on the 4 hour time frame as usual. This is the Nifty 50 chart. As you can see on the screen, it has broken a resistance, which is the yellow dashed line. And it has closed above the resistance. So I think yesterday I was discussing whether an Elliott wave pattern is forming. That argument I think we should discard now. And, um, and also factor in that this market can now head higher if it wants to. Though I think that it's exhausted, but... For some reason or the other it is going on going up so the next resistance for this market is this red line over here which is at 24,019 it may face some resistance in between going over there already this was a very big fib gap so we had drawn a, a midpoint over here which is a yellow dashed line every yellow dashed line that you see on the screen is a midpoint between two Fibonacci's just remember that and if it goes to this red line then the next fib level also is pretty high so now that this market looks unstoppable we'll go ahead and make that level also in fact this is such a big gap that i'm thinking that over the weekend maybe i need to redraw and make new fib levels but for now we'll stick with this as i think the charts are still maintaining the support and resistance according to the 3rd June high and the 4th June low all right so the next level for it is this since it has closed above this resistance of 23676 the next level is 24000 roughly that's the round figure and if it falls down then the support will come in at 23340 since there's a large gap it may take support in between and form a level somewhere over here which is at 23,500 but the way markets are behaving something is cooking and uh, I don't know what it is but people who are in the know-how they probably know something that we don't know maybe there's some really good news coming out from our finance minister so I really don't know but something the market probably knows something that ordinary people don't know and that's why it's rallying so that's as far as nifty 50 is concerned not much to discuss apart from the fact that it's looking bullish and the bullish trend is still continuing it shows signs of weakness last week however this week from yesterday itself it has resumed its uptrend all right so we'll save this and we'll go on to our bank nifty which has kind of shown a breakout today if you look at this chart it's kind of showing a breakout from this it is decisively broken this support of 51961 and closed above that now the next resistance for it is 52811 which i don't think it will have a big problem breaking and then the next level is pretty high over here which is at 55600 so what we will do is we will draw a center mark between the two and mark it we may need to redraw FIB levels for bank nifty i think we'll keep these levels till this weekend and then relook everything over the weekend and see if we need to redraw the fib levels but for now the current fib levels are valid bank nifty looks very bullish uh, primarily because of banks like hdfc and uh, kotak bank kotak bank has had a very long consolidation so maybe it wants to break that and go above SDFC also has had a very long consolidation. Today, even Axis Bank and ICICI Bank were strong. Axis Bank was up 3.5%. It closed 3.5% up and ICICI Bank closed up 2.38%. So overall, not a bad day for Bank Nifty at all. Uh, private banks are showing a lot of strength currently. And uh, this trend may just continue. And two banks like SDFC and Kotak, if they start rallying, uh, because of the long consolidation, we can't rule out that even 55,600 may come. All right. I just think that it's a little ahead of time. But we can't rule out that 
market will work as and when it thinks is right not as and when we think is right so if the market thinks that now is the time for hdfc and kotak to break out and go up it's probably going to do it anyways we will keep our eyes and minds open we'll be prepared if the market wants to go up or on the way down we'll be open to both sides the fib levels will help you on the screen so as i discussed these are the levels you can pause the video over here and mark them uh, since the next level is so gap big we have already taken one center point in fact we can make few more center points to get a, a you know better idea because it may take resistance in between those levels also so we will just draw center points over here as well so that we have a little more clarity there you go because you see over here we had drawn the center point of the yellow dashed line how well that was working it was going hitting that and then falling back and today it has broken out so the center points really work especially when the fib levels are too far apart these fib, fib levels that i use are very accurate over time i have realized that they are very accurate there's a separate video on this channel called advanced fibonacci retracement levels for experienced traders if you want to use the same fib levels that i do watch that video and you'll be able to draw the same fib levels all right so with that we will uh save our bank nifty chart with the thought that we will be open to both sides it can go up as well as down we will not be biased to any one side all right let's go to our fin nifty chart fin nifty chart also has broken the resistance of this red line over here and has gone on top now the next red line the next fib level for it is 24,592 since that level is quite far apart we will make a center point between these two fib levels and that will be over here it may take also like just like bank nifty it may take resistance just in between these levels as well so since we are anyway doing this for bank nifty we'll do it for fin nifty as well here you go it may take some resistance over here and we'll quickly draw another one as well from this level to the top we're just marking centers basically all right so here you go so if if it goes on the way up this will be the resistance levels that will face and on the way down the levels are marked the first support will come in over here at 23020 and then this white line over here at 22659 and so on and so forth you can pause the video and mark the levels again on fin nifty also we'll have to have an open mind not be biased to any particular one side we'll assume that it can go both ways and we'll save this chart let's go to our mid cap mid cap was a little weak today surprisingly mid cap was all along mid cap has been very strong that kind of strength was lacking today and i think there was some profit booking in mid cap so this is how the mid cap chart looks on the four hour time frame the next level that it needs to cross is this yellow line over here which is at 12,592 since it's a uh, between the two fifth there's a uh, gapping let's since we have done this for bank nifty and pin nifty we'll do it for uh mid cap as well as it may face some resistance over here so we'll just mark it all right here we'll get one more from this to the top again since it has closed above a resistance level today we will assume that the uh, mid cap also can go both ways it can go up as well as down we will no longer be biased to one particular side like we have been in the last couple of days and the market has been proving us wrong all right i told you it will keep doing this doing this doing this when everybody turns bullish and just like i'm saying today that i am open to both sides it can go up as well as down and maybe <laughs> i'll tell you the next couple of days is only going to go up and it's waiting for that to happen when everybody goes to one side and everybody becomes bullish that's when out of the blue it'll give a fall all right past experience has shown that i also think it'll do that so let's just wait and watch the market is just basically trying to trick us into something it's either that or the fact that there's some really good news coming in the budget or there's an assumption of very good news coming in the budget for maybe the middle class or whatever let's just wait and watch how things play out if the other on the other side if all the 
uh, speculation about 30% TDS and uh, calling uh, FNO income as speculative income and blah blah blah. If all of that come to, then uh, we are looking for a nice uh, slide on the way down, and uh, that may be the correction that will finally stir up the markets and it can be a 15 20 30 point correction also let's just wait and watch it's going to be a very interesting uh, end of june and the whole of july i think it's going to be very interesting so let's see how the right progresses all right so mid cap again we'll end with the same thought that it can go up as well as down in fact today we will close all nifty bank nifty fin nifty and mid cap with the thought that it can go up as well as down and the fibonacci levels on the screen will help us find the support and resistance okay so i'll save this chart as well and just like we do every day we we'll look at the same four hour charts in trading view as well with a different set of indicators so that we see how things are looking on trading view okay so we'll use the spot chart for this even on uh, zero we were using the spot chart here also we're using the spot chart nifty looks like this the adaptive trend is still having an upward slope mid cap looks like this it's still on an upward slope bank nifty looks like this it's still on an upward slope and fin nifty looks like this still on an upward slope slope now it has been showing over here that you know there's a kind of a uh what should i say divergence over here if you see the lower indicator is going down but on top it's going up there's a kind of divergence appearing in nifty 50 in mid cap also is uh, not going down but two x's are formed but the market has not fallen bank nifty that is still okay i mean it's not as bad as nifty and mid cap and so it is for fin nifty but nifty i think is losing steam and nifty is the one that will probably take the first hit where as and when it comes and nifty is being currently pulled up by the banking sector it's not by the uh, the traditional sectors like i i don't think it's the it and reliance and all of that pulling it up i think because of bank nifty even nifty is going up slightly anyways based whichever argument we have or whichever we look at it the bottom line is this that there is a bullish underlying trend at this point of time and we cannot ignore it all right so we should just keep an riding and sailing as long as this wave is lasting and when the wave turns we need to take our shots and make some money it's as simple as that so uh thank you very much for watching also i keep the live stream on nowadays uh, even though i don't monitor it all the time i check on it about once in two or three hours i keep a live stream open uh, the live stream basically indicates the set of indicators that i use daily but those are the indicators that have come to realize over time work for me uh, and that that those indicators and in that setup really works for me hence i'm using them if you're interested you can just monitor them like the live stream it'll help and make this channel grow so don't uh, i would say if you have the time just sit and monitor the charts see how the indicators are working those set of indicators has taken me a couple of years to come to and currently i think that indicator set is beautifully working for me in nifty bank nifty fin nifty mid cap nifty and for crude oil natural gas to some extent even gold and silver all right so the current indicators that i'm using work for me on all time frames i especially tend to use them on the five minute time frame for nifty and bank nifty and uh, for <clears throat> crude oil and uh, natural gas i view the same set of indicators on 45 minutes 30 minutes 15 minutes 5 minutes and 3 minutes all right the one i keep on on the live stream is the 3 minute one but i use the same thing on different time frames i've just mentioned 45 30 15 5 and 3 so look at the live stream also as and when you have time give it a like it'll help the channel grow uh, don't expect a reply if you chat because generally i'm not monitoring it i just wanted people who don't have access to more than two indicators to see how indicators are working and if a page is set up well with the right set of indicators how it can guide you all right so on that note i'll end this video thank you very much for watching i hope this video was helpful to you in some form or the other if it was then kindly like and subscribe to the channel 
share this video with your family and friends leave a nice comment in the comment section if you can definitely give this video a like it really helps the channel grow also subscribe to our free telegram channel the link is given in the description below in all our videos thanks again i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye